All right, so I, I did end up getting a job that paid me much more and everything, um, you know, <laughs> which is really it's just funny how life works. Um, uh, I, I'm not going to make it. I had I had a very, very bad thing that happened right in the beginning of the course, outside of the course that kind of screwed me up. It's not about that, though. Anyways, um, I've talked about this, you know, I uh, this morning and or yeah. Anyways, that, that's aside from the point. The point is, you know, when, when I was younger, I think I was maybe between seven, maybe I was 17, 18, around there. And I was watching this, um, I was watching this, this video, uh, this documentary, right? And uh, it's about Jamaica. It's about the gangs in Jamaica and Kingston. You know, uh, I, I, I enjoyed it. It, it. They talked about like the old days um when jamaica was going through its history and things like that and how there were gangs that had been created sometime i don't know in the 70s or 80s anyways there was one notorious gang i don't know if it was called the 21s or what it was called um but ross camp ross camp was doing the documentary and he goes to meet the leader of the gang and when he goes there the leader of the gang is only like 20 or 21. now this is supposed to be the the most notorious gang in kingston jamaica killings and all this stuff right and the head of the gang is only like 20 or 21 years old so he's very shocked when he meets the guy he starts talking to him he says and he asks him how the hell did you become the head of this gang at that age and he tells him that i was the most popular guy uh i was just the most popular among everyone in the gang and they just kind of collectively chose me to be their representative or their or their gang leader. But by the way, this does not reflect. I'm not trying to be that. But but this is a point to this. So he was very shocked. Anyways, he leaves and uh, and whatnot. Now my point is this: um, if somebody is like, let's say Bill Gates, he's so amazing. Uh, you know, there was a day when he was 40 years old. There's a day when he was 50. Bill Gates was 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 super successful right off the bat. Okay, what? The moment he had all his codes, the moment he had all the windows configured, he was going to do very well. OK, um, you know, I you know what I mean? Like, like we talk about prodigies like and I'm not going to don't detail any of this or get into this. We talk about prodigies like Mozart, right? Or Mozart, however you say you talk about Mozart. And um, I call it Mozart because I don't see a T um, or whatever before the Z, before the Z. Anyways. You know, even if somebody, if somebody was able to, Alexander the Great, you know what I mean? If he was able to do what he did at 40 years old, he must have been quite exceptional when he was younger. You know what I mean? I don't think I'm that young because when you're, in your, when you're in your 20s, you're still considered to be young. And when you're in your 30s, it's called like midlife. At 30s, if, 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 you, are, uh, if you are bound to be successful in your 40s, you will show a lot of that success even in your early 30s. And you will start showing that success in your early 30s. Now, um, you know what I mean? Now, 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 that, now that's definitely, that's definitely something. Um, what am, where am I getting now? So, so yeah, so, so that's a big thing. Because I know there, there might be an old man who's been successful when he was 30. Now he's maybe 58, 60 years old thinking, you know, who is this young kid thinking he's coming in and, 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 and doing all this stuff. You know, um, now I'm not going to give them a, 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 a silly excuse like I may have in the past. In the past, I would have said, I'm only one person, okay? I'm not getting in your way. I'm not bothering you. Stay out of my life. You know, I'm one guy. If I make 30 strong connections, that's more than enough for one guy. Now, I don't think like that. First of all, one of the reasons is that, you know, um, somebody sees you getting big and they're bigger, it's like a shark on a shark. You know what I mean? A bigger shark on a smaller shark. However, I will say that my connections um, are backed up internationally. That's all I'm gonna say. Not all of them, but some of my connections and some of my backers are international, okay? That's why I wanted to get somebody to throw out a city for me, you know, just so I could have that international uh, recognition. But I've got a lot of, uh, 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 you know, uh, some of the backing is actually done internationally. Now, mo now, the large part of it, the majority of it is in this, in this small region that I live in. But there are backers internationally, which, which, which puts me at an edge. Um, yeah, I know people don't like, I'm not going to give them the, all I'm going to say is that, 
you know, uh, you just treat me fairly and I'll treat you fairly. That's all I can say. What else am I going to say? Am I going to tell you I'm not a shark? Am I going to tell you you're not a shark? What am I going to say, really? You know, uh, you're, are you dominant in what you're doing? You know, because I'll tell you one thing. If you have not been dominant and if you, if you have not dominated anyone else, why are you starting with me? Uh, maybe you should either either you got to brush up on your resume or they got to give me somebody who, who's actually dominating people. This uh, satellite thing is bullshit. I don't I, I don't it's understood. It's kind of a compliment when somebody is at a much like you got somebody, let's say they're worth 30 million dollars or, 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 or they're very successful in every facet of their life. They're super strong, you know, and then they want to come fuck with me. Now, I, I would personally have it that they fuck with me directly. You know, they put my name out there. They put their name out there because I would love to have somebody like that name, you know, that I'm going up against. I would love to have that. I know I'm not going to get it because I know they're going to use, uh, you know, somebody else who's going to use somebody else. And then that's how they go down the ladder to take care of snakes. Right. Uh, and that's what they're calling me right now. Big, big, uh, a, a big, big, uh, a uh, cobra snake, you know what I mean? A big, big uh, poisonous, he's poisonous, you know? He might not poison us, but is it right for him to poison every man or and woman at his level? He is uh, totally poisonous. We don't fear him for ourselves, but we fear him for these lesser, for the, sorry, for, for the people on on, a, on on the shorter ladder or on the shorter level. And, and that's why we want to help them and back them against the sky. Number two, I would love if they are doing that, I would love for a counteraction. I would love for somebody on this side who's, who's up there to, to kind of uh, to do the same thing over here, you know, kind of zigzag, you know what I mean? All right. What do you think about that? That's not stupid at all. Okay. <laughs> Going on with this. Um, yeah, you know, I, I mean, I mean, if you study natural born leaders, 